Hey, welcome back to the course. So in this section, we are going to set up Atmos Studio 7 for Arduino board. All right. So this section consists of nearly uh, eight lectures and the key takeaways are you will come to know what exactly is Atmos Studio and how to use Atmos Studio with your Arduino board. Okay, so I'll teach you how you can install it and also I'll explain some of the key features of Atmos Studio along with its debugging features. All right, in lecture four, that is understanding A7, debugging features is really exciting one and I will teach you the various debugging techniques uh, which is available in Atmos Studio 7 to debug your embedded code. And after that, we'll create first Atmos Studio project for, for uh, Arduino board. And also I'll show you how you can write a Blinky application in Atmos Studio 7 software for your Arduino board. All right, then I will teach you how you can download code to the Arduino board from Atmos Studio 7. So there are two methods. One is using a flash utility software and another way is using external debugger. Okay, so I will cover both these steps in this section. All right, so now let's begin this section with our first lecture that is why Atmos Studio 7 for Arduino. So, so far, how you are programming your Arduino board? You may be basically programming your uh, Arduino board using uh, the native Arduino uh, ID, isn't it? Which looks something like this. So, in this lecture, let's explore about uh, the various other uh, software tools which is more sophisticated than the Arduino IDE provided by Arduino guys. Let's see some of the biggest disadvantages of using uh, Arduino IDE. You cannot debug the code by using this IDE, isn't it? So for example, you have a Arduino board and uh, you have some application running on that board. Now you want to debug the code. That means you have to set instruction breakpoint, data breakpoint, uh, you have to go through the call stack details, you have to observe the uh, variables uh, and you have to check the register contents of the microcontroller. So all these things you cannot do it by using uh, the Arduino IDE. So this IDE is just used for programming your board, no support for debugging. So that's one of the biggest disadvantage of this uh, uh, Arduino IDE. So and second biggest disadvantage is it is so simple. So if you ask me uh, how do I use uh, Arduino development then it is just for quick prototyping of my idea. Okay where testing of my idea is uh, very important than learning embedded systems and programming uh, because uh, if you are considering for uh, learning purpose then uh, uh, Arduino IDE is really a bad uh, choice because uh, you cannot learn much over there uh, because you cannot uh, code in uh, embedded C. Basically, you cannot debug the code, thus you will not be learning much uh, in the domain of embedded systems, uh, programming and debugging. So if you think you have to master the microcontroller programming and uh, embedded programming and debugging, then you should avoid using Arduino IDE. I'm not saying avoid using Arduino boards, but you have to avoid the IDE. So because you will learn almost nothing over there, okay, and it won't boost your confidence level in the area of debugging and programming. That's why, so it's a wise choice to look for some other sophisticated uh, IDs out there. So what I'm saying is Arduino boards are really great, okay, no doubt about that, okay, but the IDE is for quick prototyping, okay, it is not good for mastering MCU programming and debugging. How about use the same hardware that is whatever the Arduino boards you have but still code using embedded C. So then the Arduino IDE is not a good choice for this okay and it is not at all suitable. So you have to switch to okay some other IDE which is uh, 
designed for that purpose. So one among them is Atmel Studio. So Atmel Studio has undergone a lot of revisions and now Atmel has released Atmel Studio 7 software. So it is easier to use and it is most powerful in terms of uh, adding your BSPs, adding lots of software components and it has a rich debugging techniques okay which will surely make you a, a master in programming and debugging so in this course we'll be majorly using atmel studio 7 for all our pre-autos related activities okay so if you don't want to use atmel studio then no problem in this course there is also a lecture which ex which explains how to use pre-autos with keel development software and also there are videos which will guide you how to use Eclipse based software uh, with Priatos. So Atmel Studio is not a mandatory one. Okay, if you have uh, Mac OS or Linux, then you cannot use Atmel Studio because uh, Atmel Studio basically uh, depends on uh, uh, Microsoft's uh, .NET framework. Since it uses a Microsoft product, you cannot run it on uh, uh, Mac OS and on Linux. But that doesn't stop you to take this course because this course also explains you how you can um, do everything using Keel as well as Eclipse based uh, IDEs.